Hey everyone, so uh, this is going to be the very first video of our 55 Salesforce flow scenarios. And uh, we are going to start from a very basic, like we'll start from the screen flow, where we are going to display certain information, small, small information, and then slowly as we progress with the different, different scenarios, we are going to take care of the com uh, medium to complex scenarios and we will develop uh, all those com scenarios one by one. In this uh, whole series, we are not going to at all cover the concept of flow, like what is flow, how to work, what to do. If you are very new and you want to get started with the flow, then what you can do is you can navigate to our channel called Panther Schools. Remember, this is the name of channel Panther Schools, SFDC Panther 2.0. And in this channel, if you navigate to the live section, you will see that there are multiple videos which we have done in the past. And these are basically related to flow. If you go through with these videos, you are going to get to learn whatever you need to know about flow. And in these videos itself, we also have covered multiple scenarios. So that is why we are just going to cover only the scenario part. So this is the very first scenario. I'm going to put in the description and in the pinned comment as well. So you can see what the scenario is says that you're working for a company called ABC or Panther Schools, Techfuse India Private Limited, any company that you're working for. And the requirement is that you need to create a flow. That flow is going to be sitting on the home page of your sales application or service application. And that is going to display a quotation of the day, quote of the day, maybe some motivational quote, some learning quote, or some other quote that is going to be displayed. That is basically a simple scenario that we are going to work on. Now, once you logged into your Salesforce org, and this is a if this is a new org that you are working with, or if you see the home page, your home page looks like this. This is going to be a bit tricky to put our flow inside the sales home page. Now, if you try to click on gear icon and say edit page, what it will do is it will definitely take you to the edit page where you can see these multiple components are sitting there. But you cannot drag and drop any component if you want. So that is the one tricky thing that we are going to solve before we start uh, looking at before we start solving our problem. So to get rid of this, this is a brand new home page which Salesforce has recently started putting up. So to disable this page, what we have to do is we, are, we have two options. Either we disable this home page or what we do is we basically create our new page. We are going to go with the first first option that is disabling the home page. So click on setup uh, gear icon, then select setup option here. And uh, in the quick search box, you just need to search for home. And once you search for home under feature settings, you will find there is an option called home. So just click on that option. And you can see here, there is a setting called advanced seller home. Let's go ahead and disable this. It was enabled earlier. We need to disable it. That is the first thing that we need to do. Second thing what we have to do is we need to search for session settings. Search for set session settings and in the top under the catching section, we need to disable this improve secure and persistent. Uh, Impu uh, in, in, sorry, enable secure and persistent browser catching to improve performance. We have to disable this setting. The reason we are disabling because we are going to work on some changes. If you do not disable this, sometimes you need to keep refreshing the page in order to see the latest changes. That is why we are disabling this. So go ahead, scroll down and click on save. These are the two things that we have to do. Once you are done with that changes, let's go back to our home page of sales application and try to refresh this page. You can see here, now we can see usual home page that we used to see earlier. 
and here we can add our flow either here on the top right or on the left where wherever we want so these were the two settings that we need to uh, disable and now let's get started by developing the flow so while you are on the setup search for flows and process automation select flows and then click on new flow from the right side you see here once you click on new flow it is going to take you uh, to the new window and this this option that you see currently here you are seeing is start from scratch and use a template in future release you might see a different ui over here so whatever you see if you see this ui select start from scratch if you see a different ui where different different options are available you need to select a screen flow we are developing a screen flow why we are developing a screen flow how do we know that we need to develop a screen flow that is there in the requirement whenever you have a requirement of displaying anything to the user like user want to see contact information user want to see account information opportunity lead or some custom object information or user want to perform certain actions like uh, type some input and create some record in that case you will be basically using a screen flow that is why we are selecting a screen flow and click on create now this is your a small screen flow very basic there is nothing just a start element let's click on plus now what we need we want to display certain information so to display certain information as you know that we need to use a screen so let's go ahead and select a screen uh, on the screen properties let's uh, provide some value so we are going to say welcome message once we provide the label api name will be automatically get populated and then if you want to show the header over here like if you say configure header if you want to show header uh, sorry if you disable this show header the header will be gone and we want to disable it and similar we want to do it for footer we just want a screen over here that's it under this screen we want to show some message so to uh, display anything you want to display any message you will always use display text just drag and drop over here provide the api name of your display text i'm going to say dt dt stands for display text and then i would say welcome message and what you will want to display over here some message we will change it later on but for now we will say some message and you want to format it you want to change some uh, font size you want to change the color maybe some random color i'm taking it okay you want to align it to the center you want to add some images you want to add some links you can have so many things over here okay then click on done now your flow is here as soon as you add any element you see an option to save so let's quickly save our flow and we are going to give the name of our flow to welcome message welcome message if you want to add some description you can add the description like uh, this flow is responsible to show the code of the day to the user when they logged in something like that you can add a description and go ahead click on save so your flow is ready over here it is saved and if you want to see how it will look like you can click on this debug button debugging is really important we will use it in the future very extensively okay for now let's click on debug and then click on run and this is how your message will look like now here you might uh, you wanted to display some message right so you can again go back to your flow click on the screen element edit element and you can write some message by going to your display text so you can say here write uh, like my favorite uh, i usually always uh, usually write say have a great day make it great day so this is let's say we want to display this for today we click on done we again go back and click on save 
and every time you save your flow you click you need to click on debug again because you are saving then you the, your changes will only appear when you click on debug again okay you can see here now you got your message that is coming up over here but this message this is something which is always going to be static right let's say you have written it today now you wanted to change it you need to again come back over here and then you again need to basically go ahead and change it right so how how you can make it dynamic because you cannot go back uh, as an admin or as a developer you will uh, you don't want to go back again and again to this flow on a daily basis to change the message right because if you do not change it if you forgot to change it you are on leave your colleague forgot to change it the user will see the same message on a daily basis so how you want to change it how you can basically make it dynamic instead of coming back to the flow again is there any way that we can make it dynamic and the answer is yes we will utilize custom label so that we can basically whenever we want we can change the custom label and the flow will work as it is so let's go ahead and copy this quotation and then oh, keep open this uh, flow go back to the different tab and here in the setup we need to search for custom label and we need to create a custom label we will say welcome message provide your message here whatever the message you want to put it over here and click on save once you have created once you have provided your welcome message uh, you have created your custom label go back to your flow make sure your flow is saved that means save button is grayed out then click on refresh once you refresh now then again click on screen element click on edit element select your display text remove it because we do you don't want to use it now and then there is a text box where the placeholder says insert a resource. So click on this, search for label. You got this label, and then select the label which you have just created. And then now, if you want to format it, select the whole label, change the font size however, how you want, uh, change the color, whatever the color you want, maybe some something in the blue or something. Click on done. Click on save again to make the changes, to save the changes. Click on debug. And you can see whatever you have added into your flow, uh, into your custom label is now coming over here. Now let's say if we go back and change the custom label to something, let's say some message and save it. You go back to your flow, you click on run again and you see the some message is coming now. After you are satisfied with your testing, go ahead and click on activate in your flow. Once your flow is active, now you can use this flow in your home page, record page, anywhere you want. To add this flow into our home page, let's go back to home page of sales application. Click on this uh, gear icon on the top right uh, next to your profile picture over here if you have added the profile picture and then select edit page option it is going to take you to the home page setting where in the middle you will see that there are there is a canvas where you can add your element on the left hand side you see multiple options which you can add in this page on the right hand side you will see the selected uh, you will see the properties of the selected element for example if i select assistant i will see the properties of assistant if i select today's task I will see the properties of today's task something like that now to add your flow what you have to do is from the left hand side under the components search for flow and you might see two three options over here you need to search for flow drag and drop flow wherever you want to add so you just drag dragged and drop now on the right hand side you see the properties of the flow so you just need to under this flow section you need to search for your flow in our case it is welcome message 
after selecting your flow you will not see that uh, output over here because flow runs at the runtime in the canvas okay uh, flow doesn't run in the canvas actually so go ahead click on save once you click on save it might ask you to activate go ahead and activate it and then you can make it as assign as org default that is fine go ahead and click on save so you got it basically you saved it click on this back arrow to save the changes and tada your flow is here now let's go ahead and play with the custom label let's edit this and i'm going to basically google it i would say quote of the day sorry not date quote of the day and find some inspiring quote if i can find okay and let's say this is some of this is one of the quote that we wanted to maybe put in so we are just going to take this quote edit our uh, custom label save it go back to your home page refresh it and you can see whatever you have changed so that is the scenario number one which we wanted to cover in our series of day 55 if you're watching from the youtube please uh, make sure that you subscribe the youtube channel you share it with your colleagues you press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates Thank you.